really been interested in playing cello for a, a long time, and uh, I would like to be able to play both classical and non-classical music on it. Um, this is also the cello that saved my life. I was in the coma for five days because of a bacteria called leptospirosis. It uh, got into my system through water because I'm a big kayaker. Well, the, the cello for me, it's like I just want it to be a hobby for now, but um, like obviously there have been a lot of people that really make it a beautiful instrument, and like Yo-Yo Ma is one of them, obviously. And uh, I just like the non-classical uses of the cello because the band, well, one of the bands, Apocalyptica, and they use it for metal, which I thought was really interesting, and I've seen them in concert, and they're fantastic. I was in New Brunswick before I got sick because I was going to be working as a uh, sea kayak guide at a company called Seascape, uh, and I was supposed to spend my summer there. They are on an island called Deer Island down in New Brunswick. Uh, and I spent a week there before I started feeling ill. And then I took two trips to the hospital. The first one was because of heat stroke, and the second one was the one that they, that we stay there and started treating me for something. And they eventually found out it was leptospirosis. And <clears throat> it's spread either through animals or through water. And its symptoms are so varied, and that's one of the problems with it, because it can present as everything from heat stroke to um, AIDS. So they were testing me for everything, and my symptoms were just uh, nausea, lack of sleep, I wasn't eating, I had fevers, I had I was shaking, um, and I just started to shut down. So, well, as I was coming out of the coma, um, I didn't realize how serious it was, and I didn't realize that being in a coma was a serious thing. So to me, it was just like I woke up, and I was better. I felt better, um, except I had a tube down my throat. And everyone else was just ecstatic that I was happy and, and alive and breathing and everything. And that was rather confusing for me because I just was, I woke up, guys. Well, I didn't realize that I was going to get the cello. I, I sort of started demanding the cello because I'd been through all this and I'd survived it. And I felt, well, I wanted something because I knew the doctors were also telling me that I was going to be a long time in recovery. So the cello was something that wasn't going to be too strenuous on me. It took me uh, three weeks after after I was out of the hospital, I was in the water for the first time. And three weeks, three weeks back, I was trying to do everything that I normally did again. So the only limitations were my, well, I had very little strength and I had very little cardio, so I couldn't do everything for a long time, but I was back doing everything as soon as I could.